Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, the majority of you said that you didn't know what a rolling tray was when I mentioned it in my last video. Or let me say the video before this one. And I'm going to start this process because so many of you don't know what it is. And is yeah what they roll cigarettes we don't put it that way on so <clears throat> i guess it's just one of those that they have made fancy now but this is the let me do it this way i hate this tray because it's so reflective this is the tray that i got at dollar tree you get them uh in different shapes <clears throat> excuse me they this square shape or triangular not triangular rectangular shape like this or you can get them in a or in an oval. Now what I have done is I went on and sprayed this one, and this is what I used. I used this Rust-Oleum right here. Uh, this is uh, the, 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 this is primer and paint together, and it was like five dollars at my local Ace Hardware store. And that's what I used, like one coat, uh, maybe two coats. And this dries to the touch in 20 minutes. So it's been about 30 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been um, drinking my doggone coffee. I'm trying to finish it up. Mm. Before it gets cold. But anyway. I'm not. This this one is not going to be a, ro a standard rolling tray. It's really going to be a craft tray. Well, it could be a beauty tray, but it's not going to be a rolling tray because I don't smoke one way or the other. <clears throat> but I, what I want to do is try to use this thing. And I only have this one, and unfortunately the handle was cracked. But it's okay. I put some glue on it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And the, the mirror just pulled out, and I'm just going to do it this way. And here it is. It's not broken. And I cleaned it. And I'm going to spray paint this eventually, but I'm going to do this first and see if I can't uh, do the same process on this tray onto this thing right here. So, <clears throat> okay, hopefully that's the end of it. So, I'm going to get started. I'm going to use this right here. I shared some of this glitter with my granddaughter. And I'm going to use this reptile glue because this is a permanent hold, if I'm not mistaken. And I only have a year to use it up, so I might as well get started on it, because I don't want it to go bad, even though I've only had it, what? Maybe a week, but ain't no sense in waiting. <clears throat> now, the, the videos that I've seen on rolling trays, they paint the tray, and put the glue on, and then sprinkle this stuff on so we're going to try that see how this works out and i'm going to do this in stages um i will try and see if i can do the bottom then let it dry and then come around and do the sides and then let it dry and then do it again so this group this adhesive takes 12 hours to dry totally according to the label so i'm going to do this this is going to be over several days unless I can, you know, make something happen in like maybe six hours as opposed to waiting a whole 12. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to start this process without them drop glue everywhere already. So I'm going to pull some out here and I'm just going to take my finger and smooth it over. And I don't want to, I'm trying to not do thick, too thick of a layer because I don't want it to take forever to dry, but I don't want big clumps of glitter in one place either. And I wish I actually had a, uh, one of those sponge brushes, but that may not be the best thing to use. I don't know. I, this is an eyelash. I have seen people use brushes. And I have seen them use their finger. I personally like using my finger. Get in here and get, get sticky. OK. 
Okay. Get it all down here. And you know this particular adhesive, it tells you to allow it to get tacky before adhering stuff together. But we're not we're not adhering anything together. We're just gonna sprinkle this glitter on here and let it do its thing. And then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. And I used this white background because I felt that if the background had been pink that you really wouldn't see the pink glitter because it's a soft pink okay I just got this piece of paper to catch the ex excess so I'm going to dump this on here just dump it all in yes because and we're gonna switch this around Like so. Okay. And my, um, the paint is actually still a bit tacky. I can feel it around the edges. But the good thing is it's not coming off. So, and I'm going to dump the excess back on this paper here. There we go. So this is the first coat. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm going to let this dry. And when this dries, I'm going to come back. And then, look, see, I missed a spot right there. Not paying attention. But uh, I'm going to let this dry. And when I come back, again, the next part of this video, it'll be six-ish hours later. And then I will go back. I'm, well, I'm. Let me see. I'm gonna go around the ed, around the edges here, and since it's just that, I may be able to get another coat on the bottom. But when I come back in about six hours, we're gonna do some more work to this. Okay, guys. It's been I guess about twelve hours, and only because I've been lazy, because I would have done this over again in about six. But I found this what is this thing this is a mirror i got the mirror part of it right here and this is the one that used to be at dollar tree i was only ever to i was only ever able to find two of these mirrors and right now i guess i was lucky to keep up with one so i have this one that i'm going to try to use this pink i'm going to call it sequence this pink glitter on and i do have the mirror right here so once once it's done I'll put it back in there and, and see how it works. Like I said, this is something I've never done before, so we're doing it together. But I'm going to put that over there for, to the side right now. So what I'm about to do is get the adhesive on the edges where I didn't get it, right, like right there. Let me move this. Right here. I didn't get it really around there. So I'm going to take my reptile glue. And we're about to do it again. Let me find where's my my paper at so I can put my my excess on. There it is. Let me grab it. Okay, here we go. And I think I'm going to take it all the way up onto the edge. Eventually. If I can get it around this okay real fast. And I'll take it on up to the edges.
okay and now I'm gonna take it up here and I'm actually gonna leave a spot for my thumb because you know again this has to get tacky but I'm a I'm sure that with it being glitter it it probably doesn't really have to get tacky but I'm trying to follow the instructions for the adhesive and I hope I've been in frame guys because I have not been looking I just been trying to get this on I don't want no spots where I got a an excessive amount of this adhesive because I don't want it to like cluster up or whatever they call it let me just make sure I leave a spot where am I Okay, we'll keep going. I guess it would be it would behoove me to keep up with where I start and stop. Let me get that a little thing right there. And I'm not trying to be perfect with this, but I do want to get it as good as I can. So that way when I go back a second time, I just have to basically, you know, just get those those spots where it, where it really needs it and I think I'm gonna stop right here which I think I've actually gone too far but I'm not gonna worry about it let me get this glue off my finger and let's get this on in here try to get it on all these sides here and I'm sorry about this being in the way. Cause it's still gonna have to go over the whole thing. At least I'm going to go over the whole thing one more time with adhesive and glitter. Okay, let me put this in the jar. Well, you know what? Let me just put it on here. Go around again to see if I missed any spots. Okay. Just one more time. Okay, there we are. And I'm going to let this dry for some hours. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be 12 hours, but I am going to let it dry. And then we're going to see how, we, how it's going to look after that. And then, that's when we're going to put, it's not epoxy. But I can't think of the name of it right now. But we're going to get that on, the clear stuff that gets hard. We're going to get that on, and we're going to see how this is going to look. I'm going to dust off more of this once it dries a little bit more. Get all the excess glitter off. And then we're going to keep this moving. So, so far... I think it's looking okay. I don't think I'll use uh, what is this extra fine glitter on this anymore because to me you really can't see it. I mean you can see it if that makes any sense. But I got some. I got this one right here that I've been working on behind the scenes. You know, let me show y'all that one. Hold on. Okay, this is the one that I've been working on behind the scenes, and this one I did not even use any spray paint I just 
and use this the reptile glue smeared it on and then put the glitter on over it and I just think this one looks better this one is it's the fine glitter it's not the extra fine but it just it's just bolder to me so right off the bat if you guys were going to try this use the use the fine glitter don't use the extra fine because this right here to me is just banging so when I get the when the other one dries because this is really just this is two coats I think this is I think this is two coats as well and you could see the difference where what look what did I do with the thing just that quick oh there it is you can see the difference the difference between what the extra fine glitter will look like and what the fine glitter looks like uh-huh extra fine fine so again if you're going to try this please go with the the fine glitter and if you want to if you want to spray paint it by all means go ahead but right now using this reptile glue it this doesn't need spray painting because it's on there and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere i mean i don't see any there are no like spaces where there isn't any any glitter and if there is i could just go back and just spot check and put it on and that'll be it so but i'm still going to finish both of these with you guys and we'll probably finish these in another what six to twelve hours hopefully um i may come back and do another coating of the glitter or just let y'all know that i did a third coating and then just start and just come back with the it is not epoxy when i figure out the name of this stuff i'll i'll put it on the screen somewhere okay but i'll be back Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, we're finna put the resin or epoxy on the rolling tray. I bought this product here from Home Depot and I read the instructions. This is for indoor use only. And um, when they say that, I'm thinking that they mean like stuff that's going to be inside and not something that's going to sit outside. So I got this and because uh, the trays are really for indoor use only. That doesn't mean you, you know, I don't know what the fumes, if it's going to have any fumes or anything. I hope not because the people that I've seen, they haven't done this outside. It's always been done inside. So, and it uh, doesn't say to use outside. It doesn't say anything about a well ventilated area so I'm gonna be right here at my desk using this product it takes eight hours to dry or between coats if you're gonna use more than one it says it's a single coat product so I'm gonna go with that and is there anything else oh and I was gonna um, weigh this product but it said don't mix by weight by but wait <laughs> excuse me don't mix by weight but by volume so of course i could only find one of my little cups but i got this little this right here is a miss Werner's cup i just cut it i got my one glove that i'm going to use on my right hand got my little stir stick here and we finna mix these two products <clears throat> let's see this is Part one, and it said to mix it. Uh, da, 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 da. It said to mix it for three minutes. So I need to, once I get everything ready, I need to put my timer on my phone on for three minutes and try to do it that way. Yeah, because when the this one right here. This product right here is a lot heavier than this product. So I can understand now why they say mix it by volume and not weight. And 
And I'm just opening up the, the, the jars right now, the bottles. There we go. I'm going to sit that right there. Okay, let me move these over here right for right now. So I got both of these open. And I wonder if there's how do you do the timer on the phone? Okay, clock. Oh. Uh alarm, bedtime. Up oh, stopwatch. How about that? I'm gonna say I guess this right here is three minutes. How do you do it? Well, you know, I just I guess I just push start and then let it tell me when three minutes comes around. Okay, so I'm gonna put the product in here. I should have put the resin in first, but I guess it really don't matter. And I'm just gonna fill this to the bottom of that line. Right there. And that'll be my, my guide. Let me move this out. Oh no, let me put this over here. Because if I drop that, we. And by the way, this stuff was almost $30. I think it was like $24 or some change. Okay, where'd my little stir stick go? Y'all know I have this thing and I would lose some stuff in a heartbeat. So I'm just gonna basically just scrape stuff out of here. That's all. Try to get as much of it out as possible. And now we're going to go in with the resin. And I'm going to throw this little cup away more than likely after this. Okay. Da, 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 da. Almost, almost there. Almost there. Come on. Almost to the bottom. There it is. At the bottom. Okay. I'm going to put this in. Mm, that came out to be a lot. But I guess, okay, I guess. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead on and cap this before I go any further. Okay. And I'm going to start the timer. Start. And I'm going to mix this for three minutes. But, of course, I'm not going to have y'all sitting here watching this for three minutes. So, I will be back in three minutes. Okay, guys, we're at three minutes, and we're done. So let's stop. I'll put my glove on. Okay, I'm put this glove on. And let's start to pour this. And... And I honestly think I did way too much. But since I didn't know, I'm just going to let this run and go on for right now. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to spread it with my hand. So I'm just letting it run and do its thing. And I'm going to come back and smooth it. I'm going to go back and smooth it out in a minute. And guys, I've, I've played with resin before. Actually, I have some molds that I actually created with the the product. Uh, I think they call it putty or something. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while. But I do have molds that I was making flowers and things with. So I'm not to a total newbie with this, but it's been a while. When I tell you it's been a while, it's been a while. Let me add more of this because I want to get around the sides. Let's see. 
I need to get a piece of paper or something. Do I? What is this? That's somebody's mail. Y'all know my table already. My mat is already a mess. So I'm just going to continue with this process. Because there's a lot in here right now. But I want to make sure I get a really good coating. I don't want to leave nothing uncoated. Because I may have to go back and do it again. Which I don't mind doing that. Just to make sure that it's done right. edges here. Sure, I got the sides as well. Sure, I get the sides good too. Get this rim. See about that phone in just a second. As soon as I get done with this. Okay, I'm looking on the sides to see if I left off anything. Or something needs a little bit more resin. Looks like I got it all. And you know what, let me, I'm, a, I'm going to get, you know, let me use this cup right here. I can use this instead of moving. I'm just going to let what's extra in here. I, sh I should just leave it in here because there, there is some extras. So let me see if I can just let it roll out. It's not a lot, I don't think. I 
got this stuff on my hand. And if I can find my moles, I'll put, it's starting to drip now, so I'm going to stop this right here. There's a spot right there that needs some extras. Okay, it's leveling out in places. Okay. I see bubbles, looks like bubbles. It may just be the glitter. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let this dry for the next eight hours, and I will see you guys back then. Okay, so the trays are drying right now. They're settling, I guess. And because I have so much left over, this, I don't know if you can see it in there, and this right here, which was the drain off, I was actually able to find some of my old molds that I had made before. Let me get these out of here. Move. Let me put these, this other stuff back in here. Oopsies. And I was actually surprised I was able to find it. So quickly at that. And like I said, these are just some old molds that I had made. Oh my God, it's been years. Five, ten years ago, I guess. Maybe longer. And I could just get these in here. And the unfortunate part is I cannot find the pigment that I had. And I didn't want to chop up a eyeshadow. But this is the first one I found. Let me put it in this hand. This is a Jessie Girl Cosmetic Pigment. It's purple. So I'm just going to add it. Let's see. Let's add it to this one. Because this is the one that got the most in it. Just trying to get it off. Get the sifter off. Okay. Get the sifter off, then get it on the molds. And it wasn't that much, as you saw. So I just dump it in there. And I'm going to stir this around. Try not to, you know, in, get too many bubbles in here. It's a pretty color, though. And I thought I had more than this because I thought I had a uh, what's the, what's the little thing um Hello Kitty one, but they ain't, they ain't, ain't no telling. I, I I'm sure I got more, but ain't no telling where they are. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna get this incorporated. And let's just pour this in. And I'm not going to be too careful with this because, let me see, let me get this. Let me do this one first. This is a keyhole or like key hardware. Oopsies. It's selling on in. Yep, there it goes. And hopefully it won't do too much more. Looks like it may continue to run. Oh, that one has a thing in there. So let's get that out of there. Put a little bit in this thing right here. Thank you. 
Oopsies. There we go. I'm doing a horrible job right now of this. Let's get it in this purse right here. Well, since I'm over here, let's get it in the L and the V. Just two of those. Okay, put that down. Let's see. Here's a Chanel part. Get this in there. Okay. I got a nail polish bottle and a couple of roses or flowers. Let's get this in there. Okay, we got this little piece right here. Because I know I had the Hello Kitty one. This, I'm sure it's around somewhere. Put that down. I was just gonna you know, get this in there. Got two more molds left. This is another, look like another candy bar. And if I'm not in frame, I'm sorry. Just trying to get this in. Okay, good. It looks like I am in frame. And got these two more flowers right here. So, what we're going to do is wait for eight hours. If I find any more molds, I'll come back and mold some more stuff. But if not, I'll wait for eight hours and then we'll unmold this stuff. Let's see how that, see how it looks. All right. See you in eight hours. Well, it'll be eight hours for me. It'll be, what, a blink of an eye for you guys. All right. Just stay tuned. Okay, guys. It is Saturday, May the 9th. It's 9.19 a.m. And it has been, if if it's not close to, um, if it's not, if it has not been 24 hours, it's close to 24 hours since we I did all this stuff. And I know you're interested in the trays, but here's one of the trays. And you can see the shine from the my uh, ring light back there but this one is still sticky you just saw that right so I'm not sure why this one is sticky and it hasn't set yet and these two trays have been sitting in, these two trays have been sitting side by side this one is not sticky at all so I don't know what the determining factor is, why one has set and one hasn't. And this product is supposed to set up in eight hours. So I'm, I'm not sure. And you saw me pour these things and I went and found a, a um, this, this thing right here is the base to a flower pot and one of my daughter's friends she puts her paints in here and paints you know dips her paints out and it was in my room and I said okay let me see how this works so okay I, you can see portions of the ring light in it and this one was done with the leftovers from out of this thing right here 
which is that one was the was it the gold ones? I, yeah. But you know what? I think I mixed them. So this was the leftovers, and I just put it on here, and this is dry. This is dry. So, but it has set, so this one shouldn't have any issues at all. And this one is the one I put the the purple eyeshadow, the purple loose eyeshadow in. And I poured it into these molds that you can see here is one. And if look at this one. Even though it, it hasn't set up because it's still it's still not set. But I'm gonna take it out of here. And it's still soft. You know, after like 24 hours. Almost. If it, like I said, if it hasn't been 24 hours, it's close. Here's another one, and it has not set either. It's still soft. Uh, here's one I pulled out earlier, and it is still soft. It hasn't set. Let's let's try to pull this one out. This is another one. This one has uh, that's a nail polish bottle, and those are two flowers, and they have not hardened either. Okay, here is the that's the nail polish bottle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull these two roses out. Or flowers. And there they are. And they have not set either. They are still soft. Now, if these things will set, I don't know. Here's the one of the LBs. And that's just some <clears throat> glitter that had fallen. And I just turned it and pushed it into the glitter. This too has not set. So it this could very well be a failure on my part. Let's see. This one has not set. But it it's set up enough, but it's not hard. Here's another candy bar. And here's a purse. And it has not set. It's still soft. Okay, so I don't know if if I did something wrong or it's products that I used or I don't know what I suggest is I don't know I, I, I look at if you really want to try this see what products as far as the the uh, resins or the glazes or the epoxies that others are using and go with that because this one right here I don't know why it set like with this thing why did it set with this but not the pink tray or why did it set let me get these up off the floor Why did it set with this? No problems. It's set with this. But not, and I'm not going to put my hand in this one. But it didn't set with this one. I just don't know. So, 
I don't know if this was a, a, a success or fail. I have no clue. But guys, this is the this is what's consider, considered a rolling tray. Let me put that one away over there. This is what's considered a rolling tray. And I guess you can really name it whatever you want, you know, because if I put some eyelashes on it, it could be my beauty tray. If I, well, I don't even have to put anything on it. I can call it what I want, but this is what's going around the in, around YouTube as a rolling tray. So I'm going to go ahead and put this video up and then you guys can comment below uh, what you think may have happened or is it something that you want to try or not want to try because I'll tell you right now that's this glaze stuff right here is expensive and I didn't have a coupon alright guys that's it I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video if you haven't I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your comments I truly appreciate it Come back anytime and I see you all in my next video. And remember, still rule dies. Still rule. Bye bye, the books.